don't want to go stay. Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love mommy like I love my daddy. You don't say. Ramona, I really need to speak to your daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayons. That would be great. Thanks. What a nice young lady. I should check the place over while I've got the chance. Oh, shut myself out. Either or. I'm trying to get used to shutting doors. You'll see why in a bit. What are you drawing there, Ramona? What are you drawing, Ramona? Pictures of mommy and daddy. Is that so? Let's have a closer look, shall we? What does mommy look like? Right. Okay. We'll just leave you to that strange little girl. There's something growling upstairs. An old chest of drawers. It's a recent family photo. The corner's been torn off. I can only see Thomas and Ramona Waits in the picture. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to get upstairs, aren't I? Fine. I definitely don't want to go upstairs, do I? The door is bolted shut. Well, let's unbolt it then, shall we? Oh god, here we go. Flashback there, Jack. Nice and sane. Come on, grow son. You're a man. Get up. You're a man who's been through how much? You think a little monster's gonna stop you? Hey, let's go have a look in here while we're here. You'll be fine. Stop your whining. We'll take this. Looks like a diary. Spot on. Nice calm voice there. You know, most people. Oh jeez, most people would be a bit, you know, worried. Oh, that's not good. Oh God, no! They've taken the last thing I love away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've been the talk of the town all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston, that he was caught by the order of Dagon. Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with a crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Buddy, I want to get out of Innsmouth. My store. The safe combinations in my diary upstairs. Hurry, Jack. How do you know what my name? What the hell's in the safe anyway? You've gone too far this time, Wait. Jesus We're Christ, maybe jump. <laughs> You'll Please. swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. He killed his own daughter, and that's less than blood. There's plenty wrong with that. I'm reckoning you do well to mind your own business, stranger. It ends must we handle things by the old ways. Poor little girl got ripped to shreds. Well, on that horrifying note, let's move on.
It's Ramona's coloring book. Let's go on. Let's give ourselves a bit of a spook, shall we? The drawings of Phil Ramona's book are things from a nightmare. It's hard to believe that a young child could imagine such horrors. They're a picture of strange, unnatural creatures, crudely drawn, but still able to provoke visceral feelings of revulsion. One of them is captured with the word mother. What could it mean? Hmm. Let me hazard a guess. It could be um, his mum. Her mum. Whatever. Let's move on. Before my computer door drops dead. Eh, ah, creepy lady. Oh, God. Where'd you come from? Jack, Jack. Oh, thank God I found you. Waite's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police drag Waits off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We gotta do something. Guilty or not, the order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah. I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll help you heal. You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca. Yeah, thanks for telling me what I know, lady. Basically, she wanders off, and that was our little... Yeah, you've been hurt. It's time to learn how to use the healing thing. Yep, been nailed in the head, that's what we do. Click here. Ooh, look, we're healing. And then push infantry button again. Out come the healies. And we're all done. The more, um... you. The more, um... Uh, what's it? Totally escaped me. Damage you take, the longer it takes to heal yourself. So obviously if you're getting chased and getting shot, you're boned. What we need to do, we've been given the key for the um, one of the buildings. One of the shops. We need to go there next. You know what? Let's go do one more thing while we're here. It's a variety store. And it's closed. Maybe I'll go look around the back. It's unlocked. Hey, how about that? Now, what is it you wanted us to get? Let's go have a look. Hey, who the hell's this chick? Oh, my health pack. <laughs> you don't look like your standard crook, sweetheart. Jesus, you crazy sap! Who the hell are you? Jack Walters, private detective. Oh, and considering dear. your recent break in and entering, how about I ask the questions? Have you any idea who I am? No. Nope. No? Then I really don't care. Me and Jack agree. My family has influential contacts in the Order, so I'd advise you to mind your manners, sir. Is that why you look so skanky? I'm from out Ugh. of town. The Order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. God, you're so boring. I'm Ruth. Shh. Ruth Billingham. Huh. You're Brian's broad. That figures. Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Lies. Yeah, right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth, the rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the Order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. Mm. It was all my idea. I just wanted a clean break from here. Never heard of a what taxi? What do you want me to do? I don't know. You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to Rowley. She's punching the balls. Him, oh, God. Oh, it hurts. He'll know it's from me. Thanks, Ruth. Oh, let's go look at the safe. Right. Puzzle. Safe. So what we have to do... 